Hello, what is up you guys? Summer Penny here, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a dry skin essential makeup look. My skin has been, it doesn't look it right now, but my skin is in super dry around like my, my eyebrows, my nose, my mouth, and I have a surprise engagement party this weekend for myself and Quinn, so the makeup needs to be on point. So I'm gonna show you guys how I achieve glowy skin. First up, skincare. First going in with Glow Recipe Watermelon Pore Tightening Primer. I'm literally just about completely out of this. Next, I'm gonna go in with this Element Hypochlorous Acid Spray. It's great for acne prone or eczema prone skin. So the hypochlorous acid helps defend your skin against odor causing bacteria, or sorry, odor causing bacteria and redness caused by dryness. CeraVe Vitamin C Serum. Some Beauty by Joseon, I think that's how you say it, Calming Green Tea Serum. Now going in with the CeraVe Moisturizer. Mine actually has prescription corticosteroid in it, but this is a really great hydrated moisturizer and it's dermatologically tested. It's great for all skin types. My own dermatologist recommended it and then put my prescription cream inside the CeraVe base. And you really wanna let these layers dry in between to avoid any pilling, really let things soak and absorb into the skin. I told you we would be giving glowy and hydrated. Like, I know it's a lot. Final step, Hydroderm Triple Effect Serum Eye Drops. Eye Drops, Eye Serum, love this cute little thing. Just showing you the skin all dry. So good. So we have hydrated the skin. We have prepared the skin for makeup. Now I'm gonna go in with primer. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. The best out there. It works so well with other products. You don't need very much. And you just wanna focus this anywhere that you have large pores, anywhere that you have flaky, crusty skin, and you'll just see how it completely mattifies the area, decreases the appearance of pores and fine lines and wrinkles. And it's just gonna help our makeup glide over the skin. And to keep the skin hydrated and to prevent any dry, flaky appearance, we're gonna use all cream products. So I'm doing some underpainting with cream contour curving out the cheek, the temple, and underneath the jaw. And I'm gonna blend that out with my foundation brush. Doing the jaw first, so that the brush isn't too saturated and I don't get like a, too harsh of a, a line or like a muddy appearance here. See how this just oh, blends so nicely. For the cheeks and temple, I'm gonna 
dab and buff this into the skin very lightly, upward motions. Now, if you have some blemishes that you really want to make sure are covered, I suggest taking a thick cream concealer, flat concealer brush, and really going in and applying specifically to those problem areas. I just have a couple pimples on my forehead here that I want to make sure are very covered. And we're just going to let that dry. We're just going to leave it there like that. These cream products are just melting into the skin. They're blending so beautifully. We still have that healthy glow with a little bit of bronze. We've got some shape. Now we're gonna go in with foundation. I am choosing a hydrating with hyaluronic acid and vitamins long wear formula that's gonna help keep my skin hydrated while I'm wearing makeup. This is, I'm just gonna dab this around. This is the Summer Glow Beauty Velvet Matte Foundation. It gives like a satin, skin-like finish while being buildable to full coverage. And more than that, it's just healthy for my skin while I have makeup on. And I love that. Who doesn't want to take their makeup off at the end of the day and have improved skin? I have very sensitive skin and I have like had a blemish or a rash. For me, mostly I get contact dermatitis. So like put on a little bit of foundation in my problem areas and my foundation has cured my contact derm. Because of the healthcare and skincare ingredients in it, it just combats that acne prone, dry prone, eczema prone skin. And literally groundbreaking healing. Ah, do you see this? Glow, plump, healthy skin. We're looking glowy and covered. Oh, okay. Less is more. I like didn't even use a full pump of foundation. Now I'm going to go in with a cream blush. I'm going to use this Rare Beauty. It's in the shade Encourage. I know the Rare Beauty blushes are a huge hit. I was unable to get the shade that I really wanted, so maybe that's why I'm not like the hugest fan. I don't know. This is the shade Encourage. We're gonna try it again. Okay, if that happens, just dab the excess off onto your hand. See? Ooh, beautiful. Okay, maybe I take back what I said. I kind of like this. Again, I'm gonna spread some of it out, tame it down by batting it onto my hand. And now I can control kind of how much is going where, so to speak. And just buffing this into the skin. If you feel like you used a smidge too much, that's okay, because we still have to do concealer. But this is a cream blush. It's gonna help keep that glowy overall effect. It's gonna keep the skin hydrated. We're using all cream products, so they're gonna marry and melt well together. I don't think I've ever seen my skin look so glowy. Concealer, this is the Kylie Cosmetics Power Plush Concealer. So this is supposed to be hydrating and long wear. So I'm gonna add a little bit here. And this I'm gonna blend out with a damp beauty blender. bring this concealer down, kind of marry it into the blush a little bit, and it just gives us that perfect ombre effect of the skin.
Now, to keep a lot of this glow, but to make sure that we set the face and the makeup isn't gonna move anywhere, I am gonna go in with a loose baking and setting powder. This is the Summer Glow Beauty. And I'm gonna pick some up with a sponge. I'm gonna dab off the excess onto the back of the lid. I'm gonna push it into the skin. This powder is so finely milled. It's fragrance free, flashback proof, so it's not gonna flash back with any photography or cameras, waterproof. And I'm just putting it everywhere that I want to take down some of the shine. So for me, that's directly under the eyes. I wanna set that concealer. You can use it on the eye as well if you want to mattify the eyelid. Set the very center of my forehead. Now, because we're doing a makeup look for dry skin, we don't want to bake. We don't want to put heavy amounts of powder on. We just want to lightly push this into the skin, set that concealer, and if there's any excess, dust it off. Sweep it away, dust it off. I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of bronzing powder here. This is optional. You could keep the underpainting and the glow that we have achieved, or you know, if you want a little bit more. You could also choose to go in with more blush if you like, a powder. I uh, wanna avoid cream at this point because we've set the under eyes, so you don't wanna like layer cream powder, cream powder. That could cause your stuff to separate, but Summer Glow Beauty does work well with all products. I am gonna go in with some highlight. Again, we're using all cream and liquid products to keep that skin glowy and plump. So I'm gonna go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow in Perla, the best shade. Oh, when these first came out, the choke hold they had on me, oh my God. So I'm gonna squeeze a little bit onto my hand. A little goes a long way with this stuff. Beauty Blender, and we're just gonna how beautiful over the nose, over the lip. Oh, how stunning! And again, let your heart tell you. If you want more, use more. Like how stunning. Now we're gonna go in with some setting spray. This is gonna lock it all down, help it from transferring, keep it where it is. Helps your makeup last all day. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter, my go-to setting spray. All right, here is the full glowy makeup for dry skin. Gonna add a brown liner and gloss, and then we're done. Again, these are my makeup essentials to hydrating, glowy skin for my dry skin girlies. If you like this tutorial, if you learned anything, be sure to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think. I make videos every week and I share all things pink and girly, makeup tutorials, hosting and recipes, parties, so be sure to check it out. This tastes hella expired.